decent chance will choose to go first super interesting list here ross so i was having this conversation earlier about the different variants of steel song lists and a lot of them traditionally have been running those sleepy's flutes that give you fantastic reach for law no copies of sleepy's flutes at all in this particular deck instead we're seeing three copies of that golden harp which is a one cost inkable one four quest for two but if you didn't play a song at the end uh, during your turn then it's banished at the end of your turn but a lot of players suddenly enjoying this and we see the aerial sonic warrior in ricardo's hand which it, if you're not facing ruby is really hard to remove yeah it really is very hard to get rid of there's a couple padita in the list as well yes it's a card we see in these lists don't get me wrong but it is not ubiquitous it's not something we see no. in every list i don't know if i've casted a game yet at these two events where we've seen it hit the table uh we do see lawrence in the steel excuse me the um the steel sapphire steel fact. sapphire steel players sapphire this. steel yeah we do see lawrence which is not that unusual but really picking up steam that particular card and uh, i think i've got steel, two steel amber lists in front of me here yeah, I think one of these might not be the... Yeah, that may, we may have been sent one of the wrong lists. So that information about flute might be wrong. But nonetheless, we saw the um, Golden Heart being inked. Down come the Cinderella Ballroom Sensation for Pierre. Inked by Ricardo. Down comes the One Drop Queen. And we pass back over to Pierre. Yeah, we confirm Steel Amber with Pierre here. Mr. Smee comes down on turn two. And it looks like we're singing Strength of a Raging Fire, yep. which is going to get rid of that queen, I believe. Yep, so we are a Steel Song mirror match, which I, I thought there was only one Steel Song left in the bracket. Apparently that was wrong. So yeah, a Steel Mirror, and we see the Pooh Pirate Captain coming down on turn two. Really aggressive character. will quest for three if there are two other characters on board. Going to be super interesting to see how these players maneuver this mirror match but yes it seems it seems like we do have the right list but it's a steel song mirror we thought it was steel song versus sapphire steel so ricardo is running those sleepy's flutes but we're not seeing the sleepy's flutes from pierre so that is a big difference in the, how you build this deck yeah, we're going to see two wildly different builds here, but we're still going to see a lot of the same stuff. we got the pig oh, down on the board. The baritone bully. Sorry to cut you off, Ross. I'm a oh, big okay. fan of this villain. Three cost inkable, three, three with Singer five. Super interesting, but it hits the ink well. We exert three, and down comes the spectacular Singer. Yeah, we've got a three cost card that can sing a five cost song, which makes a big difference. Let's you play these cards, not only without paying any ink, but also faster than you should be able to. They're slightly lower statted so that they can have that great singer combination as well. Yeah, absolutely. And this Cinderella Ballroom sensation is threatening things like Storm Rage on and Strength for a Raging Fire always. That's something that Ricardo is going to have to be on the lookout for. We're inking a Robin Hood, the one drop. We're going to be exerting a four and down comes the gifted <laughs> with healing rapunzel that alternate art you could win yourself one of these if you come to a disney law kind of challenge you get the foil one for coming in top 16 is it the foil? i think that's I the non-foil version it's non-foil from the prize yes. wall, but it still looks beautiful beautiful ricardo here has drawn for turn is inking the shift queen mm -hmm. that means four ink available and three of them are being eyed up here yep looks that way and we're going to put down another aerial spectacular singer. Look at the top four cards of the deck. We fight to grab your swords. That's going to immediately be added to the hand. And the rest of the cards are going to go to the bottom of the deck. Man, that Rapunzel really stands out on the board, right? And I think we are actually singing it immediately yep. to get rid of the Mr. Smee. Sounds good. And with two other characters available, Piglet Poo Pirate Captain will quest for free law. And is now perfectly safe because this Rapunzel only has one strength. Of course, there could be a uh, uh, something like a let the storm rage on or whatever to remove it but for challenges this piglet is safe and could potentially quest for three again next turn no, let's no. see well, <laughs> I, potentially not anymore that storm rage on no pierre knowing that that would have been just far too much quest pressure just paying three for storm get that piglet off of the board had to be done. Get the piglet off the board with a let the storm rage on because any character that quests for free law, you have to get rid of them as soon as possible. That is 15% of your total. You cannot let them have it. And we see an enchanted Robin Hood hitting the board here. That is a character we have seen a lot over these past couple of tournaments. One of the best cards in the game. Big threat in a lot of different ways. Yeah, for sure. Being able to shift on turn three and just a really nice stat line. We do see the uh, Sleepy's Flute card 
coming down for Ricardo. The first one is down. We're going to be singing Let the Storm Rage On with Ariel putting two damage onto Rapunzel. We a put down second. a second Sleepy's Flute and a second Let the Storm Rage On to take off this Rapunzel. And then these two flutes will be exerting for two law. Great turn, Ross. Yeah, Ricardo doing everything in twos that turn and it worked out beautifully. We see Ariel hitting the inkwell. You couldn't put a third Ariel down. No, no, no. We work in twos here. <laughs> <laughs> two Ariel to sing two Let the Storm Rage On, so two Sleepy's Flute can get two Law. But with those two established, Pierre, is, do we see things like Aladdin or anything now which can remove these items? No, not that I'm seeing. Not you a don't generally see them in Steel Song decks. No, generally Aladdin is uh, great for Bucky matchups yeah. because just being a three drop Floodborne, the ability is good as an extra, but you, I don't think you'd play it just for that. That's my inkling. So along came Zeus, came and got rid of the Ariel, and my point I'm making is, I don't think those sleepy flutes are going anywhere. I don't either, Ross, but it's shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, Princess, would you like a new card, her hand of seven? Which is exactly what happens as Ricardo plays a whole new world, filling up both players' hands, and now he's going to have a little bit of ink to still extend. We're putting down a Cinderella, Forum Sensation. Not a lot of ink, but at least we can get that down. And I believe we're passing back up to Pierre, who's going to ready, set, draw. But when you play that, uh, when you play the one song, you can activate, I believe, both your Sleepy's Flutes off the same song, because they both just say, if you play the song, you are right. play one song, get two lore, probably, for the rest of the game. And, yeah, we, we might be seeing why the Sleepy's Flute version, at least in this first game, I do think is given a big advantage, mostly because Ricardo got two of them down really early in the game. Oh, but it is the bare necessities of life. They will come to you, and what's going to come to people? Yeah, here is going to be a non-character card. We've got Let the Storm Rage On. We've got Sleepy's Flute. I believe they're the two options. Does get rid of that Let the Storm Rage On. Could have got rid of, the, rid of the flute there, which I imagine was a temptation, but at the same time, flute is just gaining you lore. Storm Rage On it will interfere with Pierre building a board state. So I respect Storm Rage On. Yeah. Interfere with Ricardo building a board state, getting rid of that Cinderella, drawing Pierre a card. Yep. I am kind of obsessed with the idea that maybe Ricardo plays a first sleepy flute and gets free lore every time they play a song. But right now, we see double Piglet Poo Pirate Captain that, with a Cinderella. That is a lot of Poo Pirate Captain. I'm a fan. That's potentially questing, that could, potentially questing for six next turn and seven with the Borum Sensation Cinderella. Uh, Ricardo now picking up his hand. I quite like that, actually. You've had to reveal your hand to your opponent. Just leave it face up on the table until the end of the turn. Why not? Like Again, unless you would have to draw for something. But yeah, I respect that very much. Both players having a little smile to each other. Good to see. Great vibes in the room. Yeah, we saw a third Sleepy's Flute come down there yep. from Ricardo along with the Robin Hood. So from now on, when Ricardo plays a song, there are going to be free lore being gained. That is a huge advantage, but you need to have a bit of a board as well. Yep. Pierre is threatening to build up too much of a board here with the Robin Hood, the Cinderella, and the two. Oh, and an Ariel as well. And that's the thing. Free characters, you can quest for free with, P with Piglet, but if you can get five out, your opponent removes two and you still get to quest for free absolutely right yeah these piglets if they've got a lot of friends on board they're offering a lot of pressure this aerial had a little dig for a song and we see one copy of the cinderella stout hearted in pierre's hand he is running two and he does take that shift line six ink exerted we go into the cinderella board, um uh, stout hearted and we're questing for three six nine eleven loros that's quite a bit. That's a lot of lore. That is that, that, uh, that's a whole lot of lore. lore. We got 17. This is the pressure now. Ricardo needs to answer this field. I'm not sure how much Steel Song can do to it. Like, we can definitely remove these piglets, potentially, if we've got the cards to do so. I can only see a Zeus in hand for Ricardo. Can't see anything now. And the problem is Cinderella's questing for free. Yep. Robin Hood's questing for two. Yep. They are yep. harder That's to get what, rid of. Yep. So Ricardo picks up his cards, and Bier takes the first game in this crucial top eight matchup. Yes, a huge turn there. Yeah, like I said, we could have removed the piglets, but there was no way we were getting rid of that Cinderella stout-hearted. Such an oppressive character with those three law, five, five, resist two, and the singing saw. Whenever you sing a song, you can challenge ready characters. Really well played by Pierre, and I I feel like um, uh, a little big queen. I like it. Pierre, a few options. He does have that one drop Robin Hood, which you've got to think he's going to be interested in. 
And just to confirm, the Kellogg is counting up, not down. That is not a technical issue. We are in top eight. We are untimed. We will be here for as long as this match takes. And, I mean, hopefully not too long. We have places to be after the tournament. <laughs> but top eight, top four, and the final are untimed. So you don't need things like early concessions. If you've got a 5% chance to win by your own estimation, eh, just play it out. You never know. You might get lucky. Yeah, you never know. Right, our mulligan seems to be done. Our players drawing up to seven. Can Pierre go 2-0 and progress into the top four of the Disney Lil' Carter Challenge? Or is Ricardo going to pick up this dub and bring them to a game three? We see an ink, and down comes that one-drop queen that Ricardo held on to. A great hold, really great character, the Floodborne Queen, as well as being a singer. That ability to manipulate strength is very, very strong. Pierre going to ink, and no turn one play. Interesting, not... because Pierre threw back two copies of Robin Hood. Oh, which is not ideal. It's, not... It's, it's weird. It's not your ideal turn one play, but then you give up the chance of any turn one play we do see the early piglet poo pirate captain one of my one of the coolest cards in the game i'm just putting it out oh I, i'm right there with oh, you ross the theming the skill everything about this card is all it's another one that doesn't work that much because your opponent will really go after it if you hit if it hits the board yep but it's still an awful lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of pressure as well. We see Pierre inking his own copy of Pooh Pirate Captain. Down comes the Ursula Vanessa, two cost inkable, four willpower, which is great, really hard to get over. And of course, that singer four, meaning she can sing that Storm Rage on. Strength for a Raging Fire, Bear Necessities, and then along came Zeus. Yes, absolutely. And if you sing it, that means I don't have to. Speaking <laughs> of singers, here comes Ariel searching the top four cards of your deck for a song, but it is a... Oh, weird. that is not fun. But I love to see the smile from Ricardo, like little moment between the players, like, ah, that, that was fun, wasn't it? But still, a nice board from Ricardo. He's able to quest with that Pooh Pirate Captain to take him up to five lore along with the Queen. And that Pooh Pirate Captain is safe from the Ursula Vanessa. She only has one strength, but I imagine that Storm Rage on may be put to work. Yeah, we saw the Storm Rage on take out more than one Piglet in the previous game, and I do feel like that could be the play here as well. Deals two damage, perfect for taking out your Piglet, and you get to draw a card for your trouble as well. Absolutely. Actually going after the Queen here, of course, very nice shift target is the Queen. So it's not that you want that Queen gone away, it's that you want to take away the shift ability for two ink. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, the Floodborne Queen is very strong, the ability to give plus four to one character and minus four to another and she's just a great singer so yeah no fair enough there is of course also this aerial already on board that has singer five so interesting choice to not I, I think i might have gone for the piglet but there's a reason that pierre's in the top eight and not me they absolutely know what they're doing let's see where they take it from here we're inking over ursula vanessa so we're at three and we're going to play our own aerial spectacular singer and they're just going to point each other and look for so and pierre <laughs> also whipping the songs nice moment between the two players like, oh, well, that evens it out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, both players play Ariel and both players whiff. That's fine. If one player gets a perfect song and the other player whiffs, that feels bad. We yep. do see... Is that... I think oh, that's, that's a whole new world. Yeah, we're going to be playing a whole new world, singing with Ariel, turning her sideways and drawing a fresh seven cards. Yeah, sometimes you see the foil version. If a light catches it just right, it throws you off. You're like, I think that's what it is. <laughs> like that, but it is. Both players get a new hand of seven, and we do see a Rapunzel gifted with healing, but no healing to be done, unfortunately, as it comes in. But you'll notice Ricardo's been questing quite aggressively this game. For sure. Going first and questing at every opportunity. We just got free from the uh, the piglet. Up eight law to zero right early in the game here. Yeah, you're right, but again, we can could see a game similar to last Pierre um, could absolutely still crawl it back but yeah a point I wanted to make Ricardo did draw into that uh, two copies actually of that Floodborne Queen off of that whole new world so the fact that Pierre storm used the Storm Rage on on the one cost Queen may be potentially huge because I think Ricardo would have absolutely taken that shift line if he had it open Oh, I agree. We see Mr. Smee hitting the ink here, and that's going to leave four ink available for Pierre to do with as he wishes, although um, and like we've changed our minds. Yep. Hadn't quite fully committed to it. Didn't take his hand off the card. We are going to sing Let the Storm Rage on with Ursula Vanessa. We're going to get rid of that poo pirate captain. Mm, oh, he's still not sure. Okay, he is Darling going. Darling Mr. Smee. Yep. Now to play a Robin Hood. 
And that's super nice, opens up that shift line potentially into the champion of Sherwood. We're gonna be singing along, came, oh, so we paid for Storm. Oh no, Ariel sang Storm. Yes. Either way, we have the singer five and the singer four, so we can long came Zeus. And suddenly Pierre has cleared Ricardo's board completely, but he has a full hand. I'm sure he'll be able to rebuild. Yeah, we have strength of raging fire as well with three characters down, that does three damage. So all those characters go away. Ricardo ended his turn with three characters, starts his next with none. He does play that queen, but not with shift, and that is the entire turn passing back to Pierre here. Yeah, a little bit passive for sure. Not exactly what Ricardo would have liked, but hey, this queen could set up the ability to make some favorable trades with Pierre's characters. We shall see. Yeah, always nice when you can quest and get plus four strength for one of yours, minus four strength for one of your opponents. Really how small characters take out big characters can lead to gigantic swings. Absolutely, a second spectacular thing. Is that a second whiff? whiff? What are the odds of that? I feel I, right. I'm gonna let me count these songs quickly. I am I am very intrigued. How many songs is Pierre running? I tell you what. If you tell me how many songs are in his deck, how many songs? Well, I need to know how many he's playing. I need to know how many are remaining and how many cards are remaining in his deck, and then I'll work out the odds of it. We saw Strength of a Raging Fire take out that Shift Queen. We saw a Cinderella come down. We're questing with Ariel and with Robin Hood. So Pierre saying, you know what, Ricardo? I see you doing all this questing. I'd like in on the fun. So Pierre now, previously no law, now built up a big board and on the way and has done a great job of limiting Ricardo's field here. Yeah, 100%. So Pierre is running at 19 songs, but unfortunately I don't know the exact number he's already gone through. I've, we've seen at least two Storm Rage on. We've seen at least one Strength for Raging Fire, but that's just the discard. So not sure on the accurate number, but yeah. And the long came Zeus that got the Rapunzel. Yep. Yeah, yeah, very true. So we have worked for a th uh, through a few of them, but still, a double whiff from Ariel can't feel good. We're going to ink the Rapunzel gifted with healing, and here is Ariel with her brand new, brand new hit single, A Whole New World. Both players are going to discard all of their cards and draw a fresh seven. And Pierre hopefully will be able to take advantage of this, the fact that he was able to sing this song with Ariel. He has all of his um, ink to utilize. So hopefully this hand will be able to do a combination of controlling Ricardo's board while continuing to build his own. Yeah, we are eyeing up, and along came Zeus, which I believe may be sung. That is taking out Robin. No, Storm Rage on. Yep taking out the Robin Hood. There isn't a long game Zeus, which then takes out the Rapunzel. Second time we've seen that interaction coming from Pierre. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, look, Pierre's up one game to zero in this top eight match, and we see them with, oh my goodness, that's six characters, five characters on the board, and a much better board. We are not ahead with six ink behind, but it looks like we are shifting into that Cinderella, and things are looking good for yeah. Pierre here. Yeah. yeah, in terms of board state, we are absolutely all the way ahead. Um, even a grab your swords would take out the Robin Hood, but everything else lives and it does nothing to the stout-hearted Cinderella. I'm wondering how many answers Ricardo actually has to this stout-hearted Cinderella. I mean, one would be the big queen who could raise the strength of some. If we could raise strength to at least seven, then we could one-shot the stout-hearted. We could. What we've done right now is Ricardo has gone, all my characters, Robin Hood, Cinderella, Mr. To. Me, Piglet, let's get them all down big turn next turn if Ricardo and still up by four law won't be at the end of this turn but is for the moment looking to try and make a comeback but Pierre I mean even if you just start questing but of course we know that's not going to happen this is steel song let the storm rage on takes out the piglet before it gets to do anything and we see a smile there from Ricardo but I've been in this position yes as I'm sure I recognize have. that smile everything you do your, your opponent's got a better ball than you so they can use all of their resources to just undo everything you're doing yep. while keeping their board. Yep, you're absolutely right. You can see it on Ricardo's face. I think he can see that this is not going his way particularly. It's not over yet. He could still bring it back. We believe in you, Ricardo. But Pierre has built an incredible board. And this stout-hearted Cinderella put in so much work. Down comes the champion, Sherwood, Robin Hood, shifting onto the small one. I think we're just a couple of turns away from this game being over. Yeah, we might not be long for this game. We see so many characters down from Pierre. Only got four law now, but this is about to start increasing exponentially. And yeah, we see Quest of Robin Hood for two, Request of Cinderella for three. Now we've evened it up. 
And we've got a harp questing for two next turn as well. There is so much to get excited about here. If you're Pierre and if you're Ricardo, this is a mirror match and the mirror is not showing you what you want to see. Yep, 10 law on board there, Ricardo. And he just offers the fist bump, and that's it. Pierre goes on to the top four of the Disney Locala Challenge, Bologna. Congratulations to Pierre. Yeah, Pierre Gilmeau there with a fantastic victory. And it was all about the board. In both games, it was just set up the board. And so your opponent is constantly playing catch up. And when your opponent is playing catch up, you can use Let the Storm Rage on. You can use Strength of Raging Fire. You can use Analong Games stop all your opponent's characters